traveling faster than the light is no possible. A new discovery. In order to get from one continent to another, for example, most people will schedule a flight on an airline and prepare to be in the air for several hours. However, due to the great distances involved, space flight necessitates a higher rate of speed. Traveling at a higher speed than the speed of light has long been a goal of space travelers looking to cut down on time spent in the transit. Researchers have identified a solution despite the fact that every previously used method has major flaws. Join us as we unveil a revolutionary method of superluminal travel. Because it is difficult to see this video without light, light is both fascinating and incredibly vital. We can move around without stumbling into things because of the sun and other man-made sources of light. Still, you've probably heard that light is both mobile and swift in its transmission. If so, then at what rate does light travel? A fascinating fact is that most other measures can be derived from knowing the exact speed of light. In a vacuum, light travels at a constant velocity of 299,792,448 meters per second. That's the equivalent of a long distance of 186,282 miles covered by light in a single second. You wouldn't be able to tell that light moves from one place to another if you turned on the light switch in a dark room, since the light would fill the space very quickly. The light year is another unit of measurement for light. It's the distance that light can travel in a year about 10 trillion kilometers or 6 trillion miles in length. It's a tool used by physicists and astronomers for measuring the vastness of space. Since the cosmos is so large, it takes light a very long time to move from one location to another. The distance to the moon is around one light second, as it takes a roughly second for light to travel from the moon to our side. However, sunlight is far slower, taking around 8 minutes to reach our eyes, which equates to the sun being around 8 light minutes away. The nearest star system to our own, Alpha Centauri, is around 4.3 light years away. The distances to other stars and objects in the cosmos range from only a few light years to several billions of light years. Because of this, everything astronomers see in the cosmos is actually ancient. The light they see from distance thing is a snapshot in time, depicting the items exactly as they were when the light was emitted. Though, light can be used in a wide variety of exciting ways, scientists have long sought a technique to travel faster than light. As a result for this, humanity will enter the interstellar era. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX and a billionaire, has ambitions to establish a colony on Mars. However, his explorers will have to endure at least five months of space travel before setting foot on the red planet. Depending on how far apart the planets are, this can take up to almost an entire year. And that's before considering the risks involved in actually landing on Mars. However, if they are traveling at a speed of light, the journey can be completed in under four minutes. Scientists have experimented with a variety of approaches to hypersonic transport, but there has always been a problem that no other approaches could fix until scientists disclose the new finding we will offer you in this video. It's incredibly challenging to move even 1% as quickly as light, but even that will get you from Los Angeles to New York in under a second. Simply said, the issue is energy. Kinetic energy is the energy that an object has because it is in motion. This is a concept from physics. Boosting kinetic energy is a key to accelerating quicker. The issue is that increasing velocity requires a great deal of kinetic energy. It takes four times the energy to get the same speed increase. 
increasing speed by a factor of 3, uses 9 times the energy, and so on. As an illustration, it would take 200 trillion joules to accelerate a kid weighing 110 pounds to 1% the speed of light. Approximately the daily energy use of 2 million Americans. Take the M drive, for instance, it was supposed to be the technology that swiftly transported mankind to the four reaches of the universe. This patented innovation is based on the principle that microwaves can be used to generate propulsion if they are contained in a resonant chamber and allowed to bounce back and forth. Since the chamber is sealed, it will appear to be floating along with no input of fuel or production of propulsion to onlookers. And according with Newton's second law, which defines force as the rate of change of momentum, the EM drive operates. In this way, a light speed EM wave has a certain momentum that will transfer to a reflector in the form of a negligible force. The EM drive relies on this massive accumulation of tiny forces, which seems straightforward yet fundamentally challenges our knowledge of physics. Since there is no net input or output of energy, we are left wondering what causes the waves to begin moving and what gives them the energy to keep going. Some scientists completely disregard the EM drive on the grounds that it is impossible to have developed momentum with that inexplicable push. If the EM drive really does operate, it would completely disprove the current understanding of the cosmos held by the physicists. Physicists at the Dresden University of Technology even tested the EM drive, finding that the good results recorded by NASA and the Chinese demonstrating thrust were all false positive caused by external influences. However, as demonstrated by Dr. Eric Lenz, a physicist with over 10 years of experience in the field, the warp drive shows significant promise. In fact, Lenz wasn't even the first person to work on bringing the warp drive out of science fiction into the real world. The Mexican mathematician Miguel Alcubierre was the first to try it. After he made the suggestion in 1994, he was incorporated into the first canonical works on warp drives. The Alcobert warp drive, as it now commonly called, it is notoriously inefficient since it necessitates an enormous amount of energy and the use of the dreaded exotic matter. This highly radioactive substance has never seen in nature or even synthesized by scientists. Since then, a few different iterations have been proposed, including a revision to the Alcobert Drive's physical architecture by the retired NASA engineer Dr. Harold J. Sony White in 2010. Although this revision considerably decreased the amount of energy needed, it was still impractical because the solution still required exotic matter. Applied Physics APL, is another Swiss research organization that proposed an alternative idea. Curiously, their drive's war bubble might have been made with no unusual materials at all. Unfortunately, the holy grail of space travel, traveling faster than the speed of light, was beyond the capabilities of their model. Lentz begins his defense of his idea by discussing the physical construction of classical algebra drive, upon which most existing solutions are based. According to him, the Alcobier approach gave a clear image of how a warp drive would work by condensing the area in front of the ship or conveyance and expanding it in back. The warp drive is shown here as a wave of curvature that the ship rides to its destination. This may be the foundation of warp travel. But according to Lance, it is not even the most crucial part. Instead, he claims the expansion and construction were unnecessary because the solution offered by the physicist was say Notario in 2002. The thought of creating a warp with the ordinary matter alone, without resorting to exotic materials, was rekindled by his research. 
Chario demonstrated that the expansion need not to be non-trivial for non-zero in any region to accomplish the same goal of carrying a ship. An important step forward, this eliminates the necessity for the exotic matter, used in virtually all of the theoretical warp drive technologies that is toward the space in front of and behind the fictional passenger. Moreover, Lenz expanded the Bandotaria's hypothesis and developed a variant that he thinks is even more viable because it is grounded in standard physics. Lenz also noted that the placement of energy surrounding the warp bubble is a geometrical departure from Alcabra's and most other solutions. The Alcabra solution achieves the greatest possible divergence between the energy density and curvatures with the energy confined to a tiny torus between regions of maximum contraction and expansion. According to Lenz's proposal, however, there is a strong relationship between the curvatures and sources, with the regions of high energy density and high expansion and construction almost perfectly coinciding. Lenz's approach is a potentially more realistic warp solution another previously proposed because of the geometric differences between his notion and the standard concepts. Lent's warp drive is of course still only a concept at this point. However, he does foresee a few immediate steps that may be done to try to bring his version closer to reality. And these efforts include reducing the amount of energy need as has been the case with all previous drive hypotheses. How far does Lenz intend to carry the warp drive? The next goal, he said, is to use a modern fission reactor to create a warp bubble that can travel at 1% the speed of light. An increasing number of new warp drive concepts have been proposed since Alcabar's 1994 proposal, giving those in the physicist field hope that are real. The testable version may be closer than what we think. The physicist said he would considering patenting his warp drive, but he made it clear that his work is just a part of a larger, rapidly growing body of work in this area. According to Lenz, the latest developments in this field of warp drive have been very intriguing. He predicts much of future progress and is excited to see what the next several years bring. Do you believe that there is a way to turn our atoms into photons so that we can travel at the speed of light? Leave a comment below with your opinion on the topic. After you've liked the video, make sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. Till next awesome video!